Well, hello everyone and welcome to Playframe and also Pseudo Regalia. This game, if you've not yet encountered it, uh, it came out this year. Um, it's a tiny little Metroidvania, only a few hours long, I think. Um, it was the product of a game jam, a Metroidvania game jam, which is just a great thing that I didn't know existed, but probably could have guessed if I'd actually thought about it. Uh, it came from a tiny little team as a result, and it is styled after the look of N64 classic titles, and it does a very good job at that. And it also does a very good job at just making the character feel really good to control with platforming. And the animation looks really good. You know what? Let's just get into it. You'll see what I mean. New game. You can already see the N64 look at play here. Extremely effective. And like more involved than... <laughs> this is not just a matter of having very simple geometry and very low resolution textures. They've clearly put in a good bit of thought into making this evoke the feel of how graphics in like the N64 era existed. Like there's a neat dithering effect going on with the way <laughs> with the way shading is being presented to us here. That looks really good. That's how that's how a lot of games from the PS1 and N64 era managed to look a little bit more detailed <laughs> than they actually were. Also, the character with their animation as you can see here is a uh, moving in kind of a limited frame rate, like sort of evoking that 12 to 15 frames per second that a lot of uh, <laughs> N64 game characters moved at. But it's not exactly imitating the look of the N64 because the game's not running at that frame rate. Like if, hang on, if I move uh, into the center here and just swing the camera around, that's a silky smooth 60 FPS. It's just the character with their motion that is kind of having this limited frame rate, which works really well in both evoking the feel, but also kind of makes their animation look better. Like there's really good posing going on here. The character's motion is very snappy. It feels very responsive to control and move around with. It's real good. Like you have the option, hang on. You have the option if you want to turn some of these uh, effects off, you can go to here and uh, turn on, turn off the retro animation frame rate if you want and see what that looks like. So it's up to being smooth now, which looks fine. But honestly, I think it actually looks better at the restricted frame rate and weirdly feels slightly better too, to me. I think that's just preference. That's not really a thing that would be universal. And I think this animation was crafted to look a little bit better to that uh, more stuttery frame rate on the character motion, just in the spacing I'm seeing on the uh, <laughs> on the walk cycle and the legs and the limbs and stuff like that. It's really effectively done. I'm super impressed with how they've pulled off the look of this game. Hang on, let me turn that back. There we go. Fixed. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to fall out of my cage. I hope... The princess won't be upset with me. They really just drop you into the middle of it here, huh? That barely worked. I hope I'm not too late. Let's move on ahead. This is the most N64 feeling thing, by the way. This very Zelda-y, like, okay, here's the door to the next room. And it starts out looking brighter, it gets darker the closer you get in, and then you can see the next room. <laughs> I love that effect, they imitated it very well. And yeah, this character just feels super great to control, and that limited frame rate just gives this snappiness to their movement and their animation that makes it look even better. This is really well executed. Highly recommend going to pick this up, by the way. I know it's on Steam, it might be on a couple other things. It's very cheap. And I feel like I don't encounter a 3D kind of retro platforming game that 
feels this good to control very often. And we've got the Dream Breaker. Press X or left click if you're on mouse. Attack freely while moving to vanquish foes. Hitting enemies will build up magical power. To use it, hold B button or F key to heal. So we've also got our heal here. And there's our weapon. Looks real good. And we don't need to heal yet, but I'm sure the time will come. There we go. So now we can break through very easy to see N64 cracked walls. Also, we can break eggs. <laughs> uh, there was another cracked wall. Am I going the right way? There we go. With that ledge grab and flip up, just look and feel very good. So that's how we do our little saves at checkpoints. Let's move on. Can't reach that. These are clearly some devs who I need to pay close attention to. Because they are very good at making a 3D character handle really well. And extremely good at evoking the N64 aesthetic without, like, without forcing you to completely kind of adhere to the graphical limitations or, uh, <laughs> like, inconveniences of that time. Oh, nice. We can stand on top of the thing. Um, like, we've got nice high-definition play. We've got 60 FPS for actual, like, <laughs> for the actual game speed and camera frame rate and everything widescreen, all that stuff. But it does still evoke the feel really well. Ooh, new power up. Slide. Press left trigger on the ground to slide. Gain a boost of speed and slide under tight gaps and some attacks, but by itself an incomplete technique. Ooh. And it being such a relatively short little Metroidvania, You'll get new power-ups and such pretty quick. All right, gonna have to use the slide here. Slide. That slide feels very good as well. And that's like another place where you can kind of see the, they're deploying their kind of retro limited frame rate look very selectively like that still feels very smooth they're making sure that you are getting all the visual information you need and that the retro look is not preventing you from having the visual feedback clarity you need at least here there's a couple places where i actually do think their uh retro limited frame rate stuff does impact gameplay a little bit come closer i can't talk to you come here Hey, come on, closer, you, closer, get out, oh, rude. Uh, can't reach, okay. All right, locked door. Don't think I can reach here either. Nope. Oh, here we go. Whoa, cool. I hit the wrong button and it does a different thing. I can like throw the sword away. 
That's neat. I know you can drop it like when you get hit sometimes. Didn't know I had the option to just throw the thing though. That's interesting. I wonder if they use that for anything later. I've only played like the first 15 minutes of this game, so I... <laughs> I don't know what all it contains. Okay. Oh, almost didn't see you in there. Your disguise is paper thin, but it'll fool most of them. Not like it matters. You're stuck here like the rest of us now. No getting past strong eyes. Strong eyes, you say. Eh. There we go. And... Ah! An enemy. This is where I think the limited frame rate actually does cause a little bit of problems. It being so limited on enemies and their attacks means you get a little less visual information to work with, which results in a bit more swimminess and slightly less clarity on exactly where attacks are going and how, like, what timing you've got for dodging and responding to them. It's not too bad, and they're exaggerating the animation really well to try to make up for that. Like, really good strong posing and clear uh, anticipations to each attack. But it does give you a little bit less clarity in the feedback you need. I think with enemies, they should probably... Ouch. Ah, drop my sword. Need it back. There we go. Yeah, I think enemies being that limited on frame rate is a little less helpful. Or maybe like their position should update at 60 FPS. I'm not sure. I'd have to fiddle with that a bit to actually <laughs> see what felt best. And it's not a deal breaker. It still works fine, but it's a place where I definitely feel the impact more. It feels like the impact actually does come with downsides. As opposed to just being a nice look. Ow. Oh, I'm very low on health. That's no good. Look out for rocks. Need to heal. Do healing. Full heal. But now out of our little magic resource. Yeah. Eh, rocks. Yeah. Boy, you're a sturdy one. There we go. Victory. Got a small key for a door. And just like <laughs> Ocarina of Time and plenty of older uh, <laughs> games of that sort, rolling or sliding or whatever really still is the best way to get around. So I got a key. Can I? Ah, here we go. Zip. Uh, ooh, that's a long way down. Yep. Made it. And welcome to Castle Sansa. Nice armor. Oh, by the way, that's another option you have. If you like, if the character's look makes you a little uncomfortable, you also have the option for pants. We'll do pants for the rest. It is also a good look. I really like the character design, though. Works really well for this super simple early 3D gaming look. Great proportions for animation. Whoever animated this knows what they're doing, is all I'm saying. This is what, really well done. These crystals are pretty nice, right? They make me feel safe. I think I'm gonna lick it, but it's full of minerals. <laughs> 
please report back on how that goes. Okay. Ah, no. I fell. I feel like the combat is slightly less great feeling than the platforming. A little bit. And I think they could probably get it to feeling just as good. It's just gotten a little bit less of the polishy touch that I feel like the uh, just locomotion and traversal and jumping and running and all that have gotten. Indignation. Higher power gives you increased combat abilities. Upon reaching power level 2, the range of your attack is extended. At level 3, your damage is increased. It's reset upon spending it on a heal. Ah. So are we at... Oh yeah, we are. We're at full power now. With more attack range and damage. But if I have to spend any on a heal, I'm back to base level. Love this hopping sword. Whoop. Hopping and flying. <laughs> also enjoying this thing. Look at it. <laughs> Good enemy designs. Oof. Big. This bubble looks helpful. Yeah. And it respawns. Yeah, and it respawns. Okay, good. So they're platforming tools. Good to know. What's this now? Oh, hello. Ah! They're throwing plates. Yeah. Don't want to lose all my attack power and whatnot, but... I need the health. I'll get it back by attacking you. Ow. There we go. Okay, we can jump up this way. Oh, but not very far. Hmm, can I jump up? I don't think I can get that high. Nope, nope, nope. We need something else. Some new tool. Hmm. Don't think I can get across this yet. Now, this wing might be a dead end for the moment. Maybe we should go... Try one of the other directions first. We had a few paths we could take. Eh. Let's go this way. The little power up we picked up. Indignation was on this side. There's a key up there. That I don't think... Nope. I'm not gonna be able to reach that yet. What the heck? Oh, I can... Send those back. That's cool. Don't know if that's really doing anything, but I can. Hmm. Let's go this way. Eh. Oh, this is doable. Okay. I don't think the game has, like, a map or anything, which for a lot of Metroidvanias would be a problem, given this one is pretty short. This seems like a, uh, ooh, I want that. This seems like a, uh, a game map that you could probably mentally map reasonably well enough. Hmm. 
There's a lever over there. Ooh, and another right here. And a floating box. Huh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I don't think this is helpful for me. Let's hit that again. That's better. Hang on, what did I just do there? Oh. Well, that one's permanent, so... It must be good. Now, this I can break, I think. Before I do... Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and do that first. Yeah! Why is everything floating? Ooh, a new area. The Listless Library. This game's neat. I like it. This looks, if not breakable, get throughable somehow. I might just not have the tool yet. Hmm. I don't think I've got the ups required. Need a key for there. Is there anything on this side? No. Maybe there's not a ton I can do in here just yet. Let's keep poking around Castle Sansa. There's definitely more of it. Didn't even see that switch down there. What does that do? Oh, okay. What about in here? That's new. Don't mind me. Oh, here. We are here again. Hmm, okay, okay. Well, there's still another branch in this direction I've not looked into. Yep. There we go. Need more keys. Wait, it's the same spot, isn't it? It is. Hmm. Maybe there is something I need to start doing in that library. Or maybe I need to get up there. I think I can get up there. Yeah, I can get up there. Hang on. I think... Ooh, yeah. What's this now? And does it have any new skills for me? Yep. Oh, no. Not quite. Um... Ah, surely I can get up there. Surely. Well... Might be just barely out of reach. 
Hmm. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that is just barely out of reach. Okay. So this one's a no-go as well. Let's go back to the library. Let's see if there's something else I've not found yet. I gotta find one more thing before I call it a day. Can't just stop because we got stuck. Nonsense. Is there a lever around here that would raise that? Probably one out of reach. You read a book about how to deal with loss. Your mind is mended whole, driving you sane. <laughs> well, good. Worth stopping for. Uh, ooh, maybe this. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've found a route. I am so glad that this... era... Ooh, there's a toy. That this era of games... has been getting... kind of its nostalgia <laughs> releases. It's definitely one aimed squarely at me, but I do definitely think it has some charm to it. And some really cool games have come out of it, like this and Lunistus is the other one that came out, I think, this year. That was just really charming and really well executed on just achieving a little bit more of a Dreamcast kind of look, but still, like, really charming. Sun Greaves, though. Press A button while in air. After a short delay, do an air kick. Hitting walls and objects with it will cause you to jump away. Can be done up to three times till reset. Oh my. Try kicking early to maximize distance. This is intriguing. Hang on. I'm curious, do those actually, like, show up on the character? Oh, they do. Cool. Do you have to actually, like, do they not work if you don't have them? Or is it is it just, like, a look thing? I might actually have to equip them. Maybe. Hang on. Oh, there's how you do that jump thing. I was just hitting the wrong button. Let me check again. Yeah, okay, so you can always do it no matter which look you have. It's just down to, like, just which aesthetic you prefer. Oh, we just got it. Let's wear them. You could do some nonsense with this, I bet. I wonder, could you... That's cool. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, and if you do it sooner, apparently you get more distance? Hmm. That's cool. Really neat way to execute the wall jump. <laughs> I appreciate them giving me a visual guide. Oh no. Woo! Just enough. Oh. Rest. Nice. Just park for a little bit. We've been doing so much running, jumping, and now kicking. There we go. 
Okay. No, no. Incorrect. Yeah, there's no way to get further up there anyway, but it seemed worth trying. Okay. This, though, is something. Yes! Ha! That feels cool. A little challenging, but very satisfying to actually end up where you're trying to get. Eh, no. <laughs> okay. So, like... All right, that's almost the idea. I'm just, my route's bad. Let's, uh, let's see. How could I do better at this? I need to figure out, there. like, there's a logic to which direction you will jump from hitting the wall, and I need to figure that out still. Let me test somewhere a little safer, like over here. So if it's right at a wall, you'll kick away from it directly. If you hit it kind of at an angle, all right, then you will keep on kind of like bouncing sort of in a 90 degree angle from where you uh, hit it. So let's try using that to our advantage. I think I did it a little too early that time, but that's almost the idea. Hang on. Well, first this, so we don't die. Okay. So like... Eh, not enough. This might not even be where I'm supposed to go right now. I'm just determined. I'm gonna pull it off. Eh, nope. Not good. <laughs> determined. And stubborn also, a little bit. Hmm. Maybe that's the... Actually, maybe that's a better route. Maybe the problem has been my route. Uh... Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. One more attempt. There it is. Yes. Still kind of getting the feel for it, but... Again, I bet you can... Really get up to some nonsense with that. You know what? I'll just leave you. I'll be. Uh huh. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, with all the bookcases in here and this new power, I could probably get myself launched up here anyway. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Try again. Oh, that was so cool. I've not got the feel for it yet. It is tricky. Okay, yeah, that's what they mean by doing it, like, early to get the extra height. I see. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Starting to figure it out. Nope. Save it. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I shouldn't be using it as a double jump tool, even though it sometimes kind of works for that. But it can just as easily kick you away from the uh, surface you were trying to get to. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And what's this? Ooh. Oh, that's like a health upgrade if I get enough pieces. Neat. Got me a little goodie. 
Let's make sure that was all there was, right? Okay. Didn't want to just bail after all that work. Come on. So now we've got this new tool. Bet there's some places we could use this nonsense. I'm also noting that I've not picked up any keys with it. But then I think there was one not too far from here in Castle Sansa. Just a little out of reach. Uh, a little ways away, but reachable. And here's more places to use keys as well. And where was it? It was... here you are. We can reach that, I bet. Maybe using this wall? Yeah, maybe not enough height, though. <laughs> hmm. May need a different tool. Get out of here. Shoot. And there, were the, there was the other direction that, uh... Had some stuff I couldn't quite reach. This is a neat, like, motion upgrade in that it's not immediately obvious always what new places it's going to allow you to reach. I get the sense that even having the tool, I kind of have to figure out all the things I can do with it before I fully realize, ooh, wait, this could get me up to here. <laughs> like, there's definitely lots of stuff to bounce off of around here and kick off of. I wonder. Whoa! And apparently with the bubbles, you, like, do a big launch forward when you've got these. Cool. Didn't know that. The princess used to love having afternoon tea here, but the handmaiden has run out of her special ingredient. I guess the princess doesn't really want anybody else's tea. Can we rest? Nope. Not on that one. Alas. But yeah, you get the idea. Really fun game. If you enjoy the N64 era of games, or just fun little 3D Metroidvanias, or action games where the character just feels really good to control and run around with, and platform with, highly recommend. It's a good old time. But thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time for something else. Take care and goodbye!